Hi folks, uh, my name is Andre and I'm going to show you how to convert an older hot tub or right now I'm going to speak to the beachcomber parts but uh, some may be able to apply this technique to your own hot tubs that had the same type of pressure sensors. Um, so one of the, the units back between 2002 and 2005, beachcomber used what we called flow switches. Okay, A lot of the older units had a clear tube between the circulation pump and the heater assembly. Uh, and the newer ones aren't necessarily clear. So for example, this is, this is uh, one of the types that we have uh, currently today. And so how it would work, and I'm missing how this is supposed to go, here you go. So how it's gonna go is you normally have uh, a black box with the circuit board inside, okay? And this is your heater tube sitting on top. The flow switch is, is between the pump or the hush pump, depending on your system, but there's a pump here and the flow goes this way into your heater tube under the black box. The flow switch, the little, the little part here is facing the flow, okay? So it would actually be in the plumbing. Okay, I'm not gonna screw the whole thing in, but then you see the little arrows on the nut here, that's the flow at which the, it's supposed to go. So technically this is supposed to be in a way, once it's all fully screwed in, where the arrows are, are going into the heater assembly, or heater tube, okay? So, beachcombers only use the flow switches for three years, uh, between 2002 and 2005, and they moved over to another method. Uh, and one of those methods that we can still convert these older the flow switch units is back to a pressure switch, excuse me, a pressure switch system. And the pressure switch system, basically, this uh, senses the PSI, the pressure, and if, it, if it's enough pressure, it opens, uh, it opens it up, and as soon as there's not enough pressure, uh, whether your, your filter's dirty or your pump's on the fritz or, uh, or anything that could restrict the flow, this will close and uh, will shut off the system with a flow error code, okay? So this is more reliable than this, uh, so chances are as soon as you convert to this, you'll be spending less money on your flow switches over the years, okay? So how you convert it, we will just move over things like this, back to how it would look originally under your, your tub. You will always find somewhere on your heater tube a little, it could be plastic, it could be metal, but a little bit of a, a cap like that. And so where it would be when you're standing in front of your unit, right? So box, pump you would always be on the left side of the heater tube. So it would be under the plumbing that's doing the S-curve. So what you wanna do to convert is close, if your hot tub is full, of course, close both knife valves, right? The, the two plumbing that is between the pump and the tub and the plumbing between the heater tube and the tub, you close those two, th those two valves off, close the water off and crack the union open here because the knife valves might not be a perfect seal. So you want to crack the union open here uh, to let the water and pressure out because once you, un you unscrew this, you don't want water shooting out at you, okay? So the trick is simple enough. Keep the old flow switch in here, cut it, right? You know, close to the, close to the end, to the flow switch, cut that. If you're able to splice, you can reuse exactly the same wire if it's in a good condition. Splice it onto the two connectors and there's no wrong one as long as the electricity goes here and you can splice it onto, uh, try to do it properly guys, you don't, want, you don't want to damage anything else. If you don't know how to splice, then we have a wire harness for less than $20 that you can purchase that would connect to this and it would be exactly in the same spot as your flow switch. You pull the little two prong plug in your circuit board plug the, the wire harness that comes with your, your pressure switch and you have brand new wiring and a brand new way to sense. And I believe if, I'm, if, I, if my memory serves, this is going to be less uh, money. The pressure switch and the, the harness is less than the flow switch itself. That's for our products that we sell here from Beachcomber. Um, I believe this is $92 currently and the, the pressure switch and the harness is about 85 bucks. So. Um, you've got your parts, you've cut the wire, you're ready, you've closed the knife valves, you take the uh, flathead screwdriver, you take this off, you can put a tiny bit of Teflon tape 
uh, on, uh, on the threads on the pressure switch. You screw it into the heater tube and then you connect the wire harness on uh, either the split, the, uh, either the, the old wire that you've uh, spliced to fit on the pressure switch or use the new wire you've purchased with the, with, that goes with the pressure switch. Pop it in, make sure it's nice and snug. Uh, make sure that the plug is plugged into the right spot in the heater in the uh, circuit board and that's how you convert from a flow switch to a pressure switch okay a more reliable way to sense the flow um, more cost effective as well if ever it does go down the line hope you enjoyed and hope this helps take care